Bismillahirrahmanirrahim in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Today, the World Human Rights Day is being celebrated across the world to create awareness among the people to know their basic human rights. So this day is celebrated across the world to uh, forge unity, to realize that they have their basic rights and certainly to apprise them that they have to perform their duty as well. If we talk about you know the Islam, Islam gives the uh, basic human right, it gives the charter to basic human rights. Uh, or we see on the last uh, Khutbatul Hajj, the Holy Prophet peace be upon him categorically said that there the white people doesn't have any superiority on black and the black people doesn't have any superiority on white. Uh, Arab people doesn't have any superiority on non-Arab and non-Arab doesn't have any superiority on Arab. So only the you know the uh, standard of superiority is the piety and the fear to Almighty Allah. So that is the standard that has been set by Islam and Islam is a complete code of life that guarantees all uh, basic human rights. So if we see the Pakistani flag as well, so you know the Pakistani flag guarantees uh, the right to all human beings that are living in Pakistan. You know the uh, green color shows uh, right for Muslims and white color shows the right for non-Muslims. Uh, as per constitutions, all basic rights are given uh, to all human beings. They are uh, they are equal in the sight of law. But if we see uh, the other, on the other hand, in Kashmir, you know the gross so, uh, human violation is being you know committed. So today over there, you know the district uh, development council election took place in the fifth you know stage. But unfortunately. Uh, the they were being deprived of their basic human rights. 65% people in Kashmir have rejected today's poll. That shows that they are not satisfied with the uh, the treatment that is being done by the government. Uh, over there, you know, uh, gross human rights violations are taking place. Uh, so, as we say, Qatil ko koi katal ke adab sikha de. Qatil ko koi katal ke adab sikha de. The star ke hote huye sar kaat raha hai. Women, girls, children are being disgraced before their parents. So this is, you know, the pathetic situation over there. Even there is no access to, you know, the human rights uh, uh, teams to visit over there. So uh, likewise, if we see what is happening in, you know, Israel. So they are making the, you know, the homes they, they are constructing their houses over there that is, you know, against law. So this is uh, the grave situation that is taking place over there. We, you know, uh, expect from the World Human Rights Organization and the, uh, you know, the uh, Organization of Islamic Countries and UNO particularly to take the, you know, to take its responsibility and uh, fulfill its role in due letter and spirit because uh, uh, human rights violations are no longer you know acceptable uh, in this you know the world of uh, uh, modern age so when we talk about the human rights we also must remember that there must be some duties as well particularly i would like to throw some light on the you know the in road accidents you know every day you know the thousands of people across the world are dying on the one hand we expect that the people should be given that you know the due treatment in the hospitals medical care should be given paramedical staff should come forward to rescue them you know the rescue relief and rehabilitation process is expected with this you know along with this we also expect that people should you know take their responsibility they, they should fulfill their responsibility as well so that is why you know the uh, the father of the nation uh, has well said the duties required of you are develop a sound sense of discipline, character, initiative and a solid academic background. So if we acquire these four, you know, the basic things that has been envisioned by the father of the nation, we can really set our right direction. We can move towards uh, that direction which is really uh, praiseworthy and highly civilized. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself and the people you are around. Allah Hafiz.